Welcome back, everybody. Many older Americans are in need of long-term care insurance. However, some say it doesn't do enough. Joining us now with more on the issue is the president and CEO of Wilsey Asset Management, Brent Wilsey. Wilsey, Brent, good morning. Good morning. Good, good to see you, Wilsey. Yeah. Wilsey, Wilsey. <laughs> so this is something I think a lot of people don't think about, but you say you were just telling me off camera that from back in the day, what, 70s well, back then? Actually in the 80s, 90s. 90s. I in the 90s, you know, uh, people saying, oh, Brent, you got to sell this long-term care insurance. You make big commissions on it. It'd be great. And I said, no, I'd rather put people's money into equities and have them build their net worth. They can pay for their own long-term care down the road. Well, I hate to say it, I was right, and people saw those insurance. It's not turning out the way they expected. To. And we have a problem here because 70% of people turning age 65 will need some type of long-term care insurance. And keep in mind that about 11,000 people every day turn age 65. Now, people paid premiums for 15 to 20 years, and they expected that, oh, this can be great, I'll be well taken care of, I won't be a burden for my kids, this is a fine thing to do, I'm, I'm doing the right thing. Well. That was what's supposed to happen. And what was even worse than this is back, uh, we all know about ARP. ARP actually appeared to be endorsing uh, some of these companies, saying this is great, this is what you have to do. Uh, then it came out in the fine print that they received over $1 billion in royalties and even some type of income arrangements they had for endorsing these premiums, uh, these long-term care policies, which were, were not gonna do, they were destined to fail, I'll put it that way. So why did it fail? Well, obviously people living longer. Good thing. Mm -hmm. But again, they planned on people living in retirement maybe 10 years and maybe that was a max. Well, some people living 20 years and that's a long time to care for that. Um, also to the rising cost of care. Uh, it's very expensive. Medications, uh, the care, real estate, everything has cost more. And the problem that they did, like on a normal insurance, when you have your health insurance, when you have your car insurance, as things get more expensive, the premiums increase. Well, these companies back you know, 20 years ago said, no increase in the premiums, and also to, you, we cannot cancel you. So that was a problem. They made these promises, these guarantees, that they could not fulfill. And, and also, they expected about 5% of people to drop the policies. Only a half of 1% of people <laughs> dropped the policies. So they had more people collecting on this now. And then also they came out with, though, probably I'm gonna say 10, 15 years ago, these assisted care facilities. Because prior to that, people would avoid the best they could to go into a nursing home. That was your last resort to do it. These new assisted care facilities, they're pretty good. And the more people using that, so they had that cost. The policies back in 2000, they would sell 585,000 a year. They're now only selling about 35,000 a year. They're just not performing. So long-term care insurance is, should be avoided. It should be avoided. Now, you, you do have a problem because now some people have these policies mm -hmm. and some of these premiums are rising by up to and over 100%. Well, how can I afford to pay that? Well, if you don't pay it, the policy lapses. Some of these policies run out after a couple of years. Then you, got, you have nothing after that. So you have to plan for the, the downside. Now, what you can do is yeah. one thing if you own a home, do reverse mortgage. I know that's the worst thing to do. People hate those, but it's the best option for the care. Uh, you might have to depend on your family a little bit to either help pay the higher premiums or the long-term care. The answers, I wish I had better answers for you, but they're just not good. And I tell people, if it sounds too good to be true, they're non cancelable oh, you would take care of for the rest of your life back 20 years ago, that didn't work out so good. You've got to plan for yourself now. So I'm trying to tell you younger people now and you're in your 40s and even 30s, put that money away to the 401k, max out your contributions because you gotta take care of yourself when you get older. A lot of these policies are not gonna work out even 20 years down the road. All right, Brent Wilsey, good stuff, good Thank information. You. Thank Wish you. I had better news for you. Yeah. <laughs> no. All right, Liz, over